Are you wondering how PlayFab can help you with your MMO project? In today's episode, we'll be discussing ways that it can help you and how to set it up with an Unity as well. So stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome to the Unity MMO Creators Channel, where we are all about the business and tech of independent MMO development. If you are new to the channel, then please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the notification icon so you will always be notified whenever I upload new content. Before we get started with today's video, I would like to give a special shout out to our two new Patreon members, Fizz and Radioactive Bullfrog. Your guys' support means, means the world to me. In today's episode, we are going to be going over the uh, PlayFab setup and how PlayFab can help you with your MMO development project. So let's get right into it. Alright, here we are on the PlayFab um, website. Now, PlayFab is a game services um, middleware that has multiplayer, it has player management, it has leaderboards, um, it has a bunch of stuff for real-time analytics, live operations, all of this stuff. There's a whole bunch integrated with PlayFab. But for this tutorial series, we are just going to be using the player management and the real-time analytics. So to get started, um, they do have a paid version of this as well, but we will be using the free version. And so you would want to create a new account and then right here, sign up for free. I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in. All right, so here we are logged in. You would want to create a new studio and fill out this information. The authentication provider leave us PlayFab. And then you would have your studios listed here, and then you would go to new title, and you would put in your game title, a website URL if your game has one, game logo, um, the genre. Uh, monetization, and then platform, and then player mode, and then create title. So then now you're presented with the game's dashboard. Now from here, right here on the dashboard, you've got all of your real-time analytics um, for like over the last uh, 24 hours. So you would have um, the amount of players that you've had in the last 24 hours, You and then one day, seven days. With the free version, you are not able to go past seven days, but that gives you seven days worth of data to analyze. And then you also have this play stream monitor where you've got the globe and you can see in real time what events are happening and where they're happening and this just gives you a lot of really good information that will help you once your game goes live or when you're doing any sort of alpha test and beta test and um, anything like that. When you have players playing your game, then you will be able to collect all the information there. And then from those players, you'll be able to see all the players that have signed up and get their player information and stuff from there. Um, here in analytics, you'll have even more analytics as the game goes live and everything. Um, obviously, there's no data available right now. 
but once you have people signing in and stuff, then you'll start having the data populate there. And then obviously you've got your inventory economy. There's stuff for um, shops and stuff um, that you can integrate PayPal with and everything. We'll be using a plugin for our cash shop. We won't be using PayFab for that. At least not at this time. We'll be using the built-in cash shop and you on the MoRPG. So here's the screen. Um, like I said, PlayFab will really be able to help you. And depending on how much you want to integrate it into your game, then it, it will have, you'll be able to do a lot more with it. Depending on your game and what you're trying to do with your game, you could take advantage of the leaderboards, you would be able to take advantage of um, the shop, the inventory, um, Probably the multiplayer sessions you would not be able to take advantage of since everything would be handled through UMMORPG. But the leaderboards, um, you can save, it has a database so you can save information and stuff. But again, with a free version, all that stuff is fairly limited, which is one reason why we will we'll only be using the authentication and the analytics. And the other cool thing about the analytics is you are able to send custom events to PlayFab for the analytics. So you can check, like, if you wanted, if you added, like, this boss mob that you wanted to be able to see whether people are able to beat or not, you would be able to set up a custom event that, sent, that got sent to PlayFab and you would be able to tell in real time when people were fighting the mob, when it, people beat it. If you wanted to know like what quests players were having problems with or were able to beat or not able to beat or whatever, you would all be able to track all of that with the analytics. And we will be setting that up as we get further into this tutorial series. Okay, so now here we are back in Unity 3D. Um, this is the project that we've been working on right along. There's been no changes or anything. Um, in the first episode, I imported the PlayFab plugin, which you can now see right here. So now you would put in your email, password, confirm your password, and studio name and then you would be able to log in. I'm gonna cut the video here again really quickly so I can put this information in and not have it be publicly viewable. So we'll be right back. All right, so now I'm logged in here and now we can click on install PlayFab SDK. And now the SDK is installed. And it downloads the latest version of the SDK and everything and installs it. And it keeps it up to date as well, so you don't have to worry about that. Now we can go to settings and put in our studio. And then title ID. And request type would be the Unity www. Alright, and all the rest of that stuff is fine. So now, you got a bunch of different, you got the data tab which would have, um, the different database key and value um, 
storage and stuff that's available um, internal title and then you got tools this is so you can create scripts that will be ran on the playfab server and the cloud and stuff so um, but we're not going to be dealing with any of that in this tutorial and then you've got the help where you've got the guide and tutorials and stuff for Playfab. I would highly recommend that you, before getting started with Playfab, you read some of these tutorials and everything here and the API reference and stuff. And then and two tutorials, two videos from now, we will be starting to program with Playfab and um, use some Playfab for authentication. And tomorrow's episode, we will be going over the creation of a game manager that will manage the game states, um, the login state, the character selection, character creation, and then the game. So that was it for this video. I hope it helped you to see how Playfab could potentially help you with your game and get you excited about learning about Playfab in the future episodes. Until then, have a good afternoon.